Hello once again and um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's another episode of Tim's Timely Tips, so let's get right into it. Today, what we're going to cover, we're going to cover an aspect of traffic, um, retargeting. So, you know, traffic is one of those all-important subjects. We all need it. In the offline world, it's all about location, location, to get the footfall so people see you, um, but you're there. In the online world, it's the same. Your website is your online shop, the door through which visitors come to see what you've got. To get noticed, you have to pay one way or another. Paid ads and search engine optimization are the two main ones that come to mind. But what happens to those that arrive at your website but don't buy first time? You got them there and now they're gone. Surely you want them to remember you until they are ready to buy. Statistics show that 96% of your website visitors will probably take no action and disappear. You don't want that. You want to stay top of mind. Retargeting helps to solve that problem. So what is retargeting? With retargeting, you only target users that have visited your site and already had an experience with your brand. If they leave your site without taking the desired action, you can show them ads as they surf around the internet with the intent of getting them to come back and take the desired action, i.e. buy. You've probably experienced it yourself when ads appear and you think, that's uncanny, I was only looking at that the other day. So how does retargeting work? It works by placing a retargeting pixel on your website. A special cookie is placed on visitors' browsers. When a website is visited that offers banners, it checks to see if that cookie is present and shows your ad if it is there. It could be an offer ad, a branding ad, or even an ad promoting your reputation. Here are seven ideas for retargeting. Come closer because these are top secret. One, site visitors retargeting. That's when a person visits your website, you can retarget them all around the internet. Two, time on site retargeting. If the user stays for more than 10 seconds, then you use retargeting, better engagement results. Three, email retargeting. If a user opens their email, you pixel them and retarget them based on them being an action taker. 4. Abandon retargeting. If a user adds an item to their cart but does not purchase, you can send a specific message to them with a coupon code to encourage them to complete their purchase. 5. Location retargeting. Only retarget the user if they are in a specific zip code, postal code or city. 6. Topic retargeting. Retarget a user if they visit a particular page or product on your website. This is particularly effective with e-commerce. And seven, engagement retargeting. If a user takes a specific action, such as filling out a form or purchases a product, you can retarget them with upsells or related products. You don't have to be running ads to run a retargeting campaign. The success of a campaign will be down to analyzing the metrics and optimizing the campaign elements from start to finish. If you need help with any of that, you know where we are. Until next time, be the best. See you for now.